back to my channel so I know it's been a hot minute since I did a video now I did do vlogs I did I think I have like two videos that I vlogged or three and I uploaded those and those are my favorite I love vlogging but I also like doing makeup as well so this video is going to be my BoxyCharm unboxing I just got this in on Friday and today is Tuesday I don't know what day you're watching this on but yeah so the whole weekend I didn't wear any makeup I didn't go anywhere honestly I can't really go anywhere um only like to get stuff that i need um that being said like i don't know but i'm excited i got this on friday and like i do know what's in here so that's the reason why i don't have my makeup on because i'm gonna try the products that are on in here so if you don't know what boxycharm is boxycharm basically is a subscription that you pay monthly i know the prices had gone up a little bit but for the stuff that you get in here it's like so worth it they are full size products and they are worth what you pay for for the whole box um and i just love getting new stuff so if you want to subscribe or do a subscription with them you can check out their website and this and yeah so that's basically it um I was gonna say something else but I don't know what I was gonna say but anyway I should drop the card okay so I always show you guys the card the card is a boxy charm this is the theme um what is the theme it just said oh, okay so it's like camping I guess because it has s'mores right here the grass and like the little signs that tell you where to go it says spa glamming like like camping but glamming glamping that's what it says glamping that's what it anyway and then it says sunbathe yoga and a slumber so and here it tells you the prices which i will tell you the prices once i show you so the first thing i'm going to pull out because um that's what we're going to put on first is going to be this glam glow moisture trip which looks like this i love anything glam um glam glow like i love their products um they are a little bit pricey some of their stuff can be a bit pricey um and yeah, so this is going to be a moisturizer. At first, I thought it was a mask, but it isn't. It just says, apply evenly to cleanse, clean face and neck, morning or night. So we're going to do that because I didn't apply what I normally do before I do my foundation and my primer and all that. So we're going to open this pretty little dude up. And it's like a minty green. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it kind of goes with like the minty of the packaging, the little bottle. So I'm going to apply that with my finger. I don't even know if I should put a whole bunch. Like, you never know. But I'm going to apply this and apply this all over my face. So I hope you... It doesn't have a scent to it. There's, like, no scent whatsoever. But, yeah, I just want to apply this. And that is that. But before I do that, I'm going to go ahead and do my primer so that I can go ahead and put my foundation because everything else, um, there's nothing else for that. Um, I'm not going to show you guys what it is because basically it's the same thing. But, I mean, I can show you what it is. I'm not going to show you me applying it. So my primer, basically, you guys know, I use the Milk Hydro Primer, which I love. And finally, I got my Urban Decay All Nighter Foundation. It's my favorite foundation. Um, I was using the Marc Jacobs for a while because I never have my shade. So if you want to know, I am 4.5. And yeah, so I'm going to apply these really fast. And I will be right... So normally, I would shape up my brows with what I normally use. But we got in... Oh, I didn't even tell you. Okay, so this moisturizer that I talked about is... For four, fifty-four dollars, yeah, it's a little, it's a little expensive. So the next thing is this Kush, Kush Fiber Brow Gel. It's by Milk Cosmetics. Now I never tried anything like this to be honest. I normally just stick to what I normally use for my eyebrows, which I love the Elf little pod. Um, I'll show you guys. I always use this. Um, and then I have the Anastasia one too, but I just stopped using it because I feel like you spend so much money and like it literally dries out. Um, and then I would normally use like the pencil or like that the brow thing, but I haven't used that in a while. So this one is, I don't even know how to apply this to be honest, because I don't use things like this. Um, this is in the shade Dutch. So I don't even know if this is even going to match me. Um, I like my brows a little bit uh, darker. And then it has this little paper here, I guess. Um, and I like Milk Cosmetics. I don't own too many products from them. I just know like the primer. So like that. 
So, let me see. You guys can't see me. It's pretty cool, I guess. I mean, it's not something that I would really use. I mean, I just have to get really used to it. Because I feel like this would be a day like I don't want to wear any makeup. And it's like very, very light. And I'm just going to the store. And my eyebrows need something. Because I look like I'm dead. Um, but yeah, that's my eyebrow. And honestly, I'm not too crazy about it. Like, it is what it is. So, <clears throat> I'm probably going to give this to my daughter, Addison, for her brows. Because, I don't know, like, I I have to shape mine with So, mine. I already did my brows, and this is, like, so much better for me. But, anyway, that milk product was for $20. Okay, so next we got in a palette from our BoxyCharm. And this is by Cargo Cosmetics. I've never heard of this brand, to be honest. And I already took it out of a little box. Um, but it looks like this and you guys know that these aren't my colors to me I feel like these colors are more like too natural to nude for me But I am gonna keep it because I feel like just in case on those days that I need it I just want to keep it because I love this shade right here. This gray is so freaking pretty um, And I think this is like a dark brown. I don't think it's black. It's like a dark brown um, and yeah like, these are okay. Um, it's just, like, super light. But we're going to go ahead and try this. I'm not going to just be, you know, we're, we're going to do this. So, what I'm going to end up doing is picking up a brush. And I'm going to go ahead and go in with this gray. I'm not going to tell you guys too much. Like, it's not a tutorial. It's just me trying these products out. So, I'm going to go ahead and do this really fast. And we will see what comes out. Like, how this look is going to come out. Um, this gray is really pretty though. It's just really light. Um, you put like a really, um, kind of like a smoky look, but I also like to have like a really sharp, um, wing liner for something like this and like really out there. Um, you know, like the, the second to the darkest brown and I'm just kind of like smoking it up in here. So yeah. Now I put like the darker brown. I think it's brown. It might look black. I think it is black. So I put it towards like the end and then I'm going in with like this champagne color and I'm just putting it in my inner. Again, it's not a tutorial. I'm just showing you what I'm putting just in case you want to know. Um, and I'm just doing that really fast. Like nothing special. Just trying out this palette. I like the colors as in like the the pigment of it it's really nice it's not bad it's a really good pigment pigmentation palette and then the colors are not bad i like them and it's really pretty if you are like i said like someone that likes not too much color that are liking something like this and i feel these are more like the cool tone because like the gray i feel like more of a cool tone natural look um, but this is very pretty, especially if you're going into, like, wedding or you're using, you do light colors for, like, a prom or something. But me, you know me, I have to, like, freaking, um, what can I say? Kind of smoke it out a little bit. And this is, like, old school stuff. So I'm just going to go and highlight right here in the brow. Highlight the inner. Which I think I'm going to do the same color right here. So I put my liner on. I'm going to go ahead. I got this. Oh, I didn't even tell you guys the price for that palette. Where am I going with this? Okay, so the palette is $39. And then we got this anesthetic or anesthetic. No, I think I can read right now. The Sun is Set a Bronzer. The packaging looks like this. I've never tried this company before either. And I'm going to pull out this little bronzer. And it looks like this. Um and it looks like this so i don't know how this is going to show up on me we're going to try this because i feel like this is a little i don't know to my skin tone but let's see again i don't know and I love bronzer. 
I love bronzy my face, but I feel like this is like it's pretty, but I feel like it's too much my skin. You know what I mean, I feel like it's just too. But it's okay. We're gonna make okay, it work. I feel like this brought my face alive a little bit more. If you guys want to know, I'm just using the um, Keep It Peachy by Wet n Wild. I just feel like this color right here I love and it look goes good with this. Because I don't want it too pinky and I don't want it too orangey blush. I have like all different colors of blush. And I just feel like this one looks good with this. I like it. Lashes are on. So next product I'm going to take, the last product actually, is called by, it's a, um, what the fuck am I saying? <laughs> it's by Sugar Rush um tart so it's a tart product i didn't even know that i didn't even see tart product and this is best bud it's a lip balm and it looks like this this is so cute um and this goes for 12 dollars. i like tart i like i love this product right here that i'm using to do my makeup and i love it and i always use like the rounds but for some reason i start using these and these are way better than the freaking cotton rounds okay so this is what it looks like and I am so excited because not excited but like I feel like so like kitsy kawaii K product like K beauty products so they have stuff really cute like this. This is a really cute yellow rose and then I have not tried this at all so you can see it's new and it's just a lip balm. So I'm going to go ahead and remove the makeup that I have on my lips when I was doing my foundation and see and like normally I would put a lipstick on which I'm probably am gonna have to after this video but this is something cool because now you can't go anywhere I'm not talking with this thing on my mouth can't go anywhere without having your mask on so it's like there's no point in really putting lipstick on if you have to have um, your mask on right so I'm gonna put my finger pick this product up Ooh, it smells good. It kind of reminds me of my lip scrubs and my, I don't know. And this is really nice. Like, I don't even need to put a lipstick on actually after all. Like a light tint to it. It's making sure I don't have any my teeth. But like, is so pretty like I don't know I feel like it has like a light like little rose tint to it um I might be wrong I might just be because my lips are like that I have to take that other the makeup off and then apply this but it feels really nice it doesn't feel sticky at all it feels like really nice and moisturizing for your lips and it smells really good I don't know what it smells like though I mean it says sugar rush I'm guessing it smells like that sugary scent when you put like a lip scrub um i do have a lip scrub that smells kind of like this it's over there next to my nightstand because i have like my night stuff routine like my night lotion and my night spray from bath and body not bath and body works from um my mind went blank from lush i'm trying to think from Lush, um, and it's just I have like my, my whole night thing, and I have my little sleepy mask there, my lip scrub. So it's out there, but the other lip scrub I have is this one, and this one you, I mean, it smells like waffles, so it's not like I can compare it to that, but you can smell like the sugarness of this, like if that makes any sense whatsoever. But yeah, this is the look. I actually like this palette, it's not really bad. Like, I feel like I can actually use this palette if I smoke it out because you guys know, like, I like color and I like smokiness. So I feel like this will be really nice. I'm going to go ahead and spray my face. This is not a boxy charm whatsoever. But this is a new one that I picked up. This is a Milani Fruit Fetish Make It Last. And I got the Kiwi Watermelon. If you have not tried these, there's other scents that I haven't gotten yet. But oh my god, it smells amazing. Just wanted to throw it out there. Because you guys know whatever I like, I like to mention it to you guys. If, if it's either here or my snapchat so if you're not following me on snapchat make sure you follow me on snapchat everything is in the description at the bottom but yeah this is the look i really really like it my hair was like a mess again i'm not going anywhere i'm just gonna go get some food really fast in the drive through and that is that so i'm gonna go ahead and change and then i'll be right back okay so that is
is it for this video i'm putting on my new shirt like i got this new shirt and i love it so much like it feels so amazing anyway i just wanted to throw it out there but anyway that is it for this video if you like this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you haven't already don't forget to stand the subscribe button and ring that bell to know how to keep your videos and until next time i will see you guys in my next video i don't think i showed you told you guys what was my favorite out of these products um I really don't know to be honest I feel like everything was okay it's not like I don't know probably it's gonna have to be this this to be honest like these two are my favorite the, the palette isn't bad I actually like this look really um like I surprised myself I actually like this palette it's like really nice it's a cool tone palette um and I like anything that's like cool tone um so yeah so that is it guys and I will see you guys in my next video bye